What happened to Friday night? I come up and saw you. <laughs> I tried to come up many times to see you and you ignored me. Oh. And then finally it became my turn. Yeah, Julie, I don't do that, do I? There's a reason for it. Yeah, okay, there's a reason for it. But you don't know, reason for he hasn't got time to tell everyone. I don't tell everyone. <laughs> and so and so you went square dancing? Yes, I go square dancing. So how did God heal you? Well, I've been walking around with a you think I had a wooden leg, it was stiff. And I could bend it, but it was very painful. And it started to uh, gradually get better. And then uh, last night we went square dancing down the car wall. Wow. And uh, it was still pretty <laughs> stiff. And I thought, I had a couple of anti inflammatories. And I thought, gee, when I get up this morning, you know, get up this morning, it's going to be terrible when they wear off because mm -hmm. I've uh, you know, given it a fair beating. <laughs> right out this morning. Wow. Now, now this is so important. Jesus heals people different ways. Now he didn't feel 100% healing at the mid Friday, but then gradually over the weekend he experienced total healing. And that's why the Bible says sometimes they're healed as they went or healed from that hour. This is so important. God, I pray for some people that might feel a, feel a full, complete healing and they think, oh, well, what happened? And next day they wake up totally healed for the next week. Even next month, one lady was blind recently and for four years had a white cane, dark sunglasses. And I pray for her. So listen, be encouraged. Sometimes healing manifests later. Four weeks later, she's walking along with her eyes open, perfect eyesight. And it was irreversible blindness. Well, be thank you for this man.